arriving for their last summit of the year. EU leaders get down to business in Brussels with the migration crisis, Turkey, Russia and Syria among the pressing issues on the agenda. Commenting on Aleppo, French President François Hollande talks about a humanitarian ultimatum, one that demands that the threatened population be allowed to leave the Syrian city, a humanitarian corridor opened. In the coming days, he says, if efforts are not undertaken, the regimes backing Bashar al-Assad will bear the responsibility of this extremely grave situation. I haven't stopped talking to Russia, he says. Russia doesn't abide by its commitments. It's time now that we reach a truce. On migration, Brussels is working to curb the flow of people from Africa to Italy by putting pressure on governments there via aid budgets and preparing to step up the deportation of illegal immigrants. We've worked out this concerns all migrant partnerships. The development, security and the fight against human smuggling must always go together so that people don't get in danger, she says. Britain's Prime Minister was expected to give an update on preparations for the UK's divorce negotiations, but there wasn't a dinner invite for Theresa May. As we are going to invoke Article 50, trigger the negotiations by the end of March next year, it's right that the other leaders prepare for those negotiations as we have been preparing. We will be leaving the EU. We want that to be as smooth and an orderly process as possible. It's not just in our interest, it's in the interest of the rest of Europe as well. Thank could you. Then take ten years to get a Brexit could cause the biggest rift of all among EU leaders as they finish 2016 grappling with a number of crises against an ever-changing political backdrop. <laughs>